Hello and welcome everyone. If you're new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and uh, you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. Anubhav Anand. Hi Anubhav. Kotlin or Flutter, which should I learn to develop uh, apps? Anubhav, if you are working already in some company, then you learn the technology or the tool. Again, these are tools. Kotlin is a tool. Flutter is a tool. Okay. Both are really powerful tools. Some things you can do with Kotlin really well. Android development, I, I hear that most of the Android development is done in Kotlin. Uh, if you go to see the easiest way to find out which tool is currently in demand, go to LinkedIn, just give the name of the tool. For example, Kotlin, just give Kotlin. Okay. And see the number of jobs which mention Kotlin. Then do flutter see the number of jobs which mention flutter okay and you can do this uh, country wise also you can select the country india you can select the country us you can select worldwide and check which tool has more requirement in which place you can do it city wise if you are in pune or in bangalore or in mumbai or in gurgaon Okay, or in Ahmedabad or in, uh, in Chennai or Hyderabad, wherever you are, you can you can look at the uh, tool and you can uh, give Kotlin or Flutter and see where is the demand. Okay, and then you can decide which tool you should learn because if there are more jobs, then it becomes much easier to get a job. And the first thing is to get a job. Okay, because I'm, I'm telling you, these are, these are just tools that you're using. The important thing is the application you're going to develop. If you're going to develop an Android based mobile application, let's say you are developing an Android based mobile application for a health company. Okay, uh, for, for example, there is an application called Healthify Me. Okay, you can go and check that application. It has diet plans. It has uh, you, when you walk, it will it will uh, record your steps. When you exercise, it will record certain things. Or uh, Samsung itself has its own application on health. Okay, on on top of Android. Now I don't know what Samsung is using to develop this application. But if you have to develop this application, the application is more important. What you are developing then the tool you are using. The tool will be very similar. Uh, both the tools, both the programming languages are built upon a similar uh, framework of C or, or Java. If you see, they will have similar uh, coding syntax and everything. Little bit of differences. The libraries you will be using will be different. Okay. And the tools like the maybe the development tools you will be using along with this may be different. The way you will build application may be different, but otherwise both are same. So focus more on the application than on Kotlin or Flutter. Okay. And if you're fresher and if you're not yet joined a company, then first join a company and then start thinking what you want to do. Because see in a company, see if you join TCS, TCS first fresher, it will give uh, it will hire 40,000 freshers. Okay. And then it will say some people, okay, you do Java, you do .NET, you do Kotlin, you do uh, Flutter, you do this, you do that. So depending on how many people TCS needs for what things, TCL will, will distribute these people uh, mostly without even thinking about, maybe they have already done the analysis on who's good in what during the interview process and they have already decided this thing. Or otherwise, you can talk to the HR and they will say, oh, no, okay, fine. You want to go from Java to .NET, go to their .NET or go to Kotlin or go to Flutter. Okay. But most companies will do like that. Companies are not going to change their development platform for you. You have to adapt to the development platform. Okay. And a software engineer is a person who understands any programming language and is able to build any application using the tools that are given to him. Okay. Then you become a real software engineer. Otherwise you are just a Java programmer or a Kotlin programmer or a react programmer. Correct. So 
uh, be careful about that. Uh, Musings by Software Engineers is a live show for you who want to make a career in software industry. All those people who are watching my program, who want to grow in their salary, who want to grow in the career faster, uh, look at my program of how to become A players. Uh, link will be in the description and see you in the next live.